Welcome to another First Bastion Studio Minute. Today we're going to be looking at the useful mirrors that I originally made for 3 Delight. Uh, I wanted to see how easy it would be to uh, convert them into iRay use and see if we can't uh, use one of the Uber shaders. I'm going to use Cobalt. Cobalt seems to work really well. The only things we have to sort of adjust are the reflectivity, which we want to uh, max out to 100 and the roughness which we would want to reduce and if we can put uh, the diffuse color to something close to white it'll probably work for the best all the rest can stay pretty well the same one thing I'd like you to notice is the light emitter at the ceiling I place that there because mirrors work better with a nice balanced light surrounding the scene uh, it's better for the reflections so we'll pick the car paint color here and just uh, color up the frame with a nice uh, bright red. Alright, so uh, once you set up the settings for one of the mirrors, you're going to copy paste those exact same settings for the other two mirror faces. Alright, so in terms of results, it's always good to use a mirror inside an enclosed space. Why? Because it's going to actually be reflecting something. If you try to use mirrors in the void of Daz Studio without something encircling it, well, what you're going to get is a reflection of black. The key is experimentation. You just got to try different things. This is Bill, First Best in Studios. There's always something to learn.